Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Good morning, my friends. Uh, just for reference, it's going on 4.30 a.m. I have actually been up since about 3.45, and I've answered, I think, about 500 comments, or at least read each and every single one of them. I do read each of them on Instagram. I read every comment. Um, I try to respond to as many as possible. The amount of love and gratitude, I'm gonna get emotional, I mean, I got emotional on Instagram yesterday, that you are all showing um, is just amazing. And Vlogmas is my gift from me to you um, for all the love, all the support, all of the thumbs up and shares and all of those things, but like what you guys give back is just so incredible. I'm really overwhelmed by it. There were lots of things we didn't get to yesterday that are on my list to do. So one is my gratitude jar, which I will link down below because it's from Amazon. We'll go visit that really quick. Um, and then Steven has advent calendars to do all of those things, but we're getting a good start to the day. It's early and um, lots to do. Also, We are getting our first official snow. We've had a couple sprinklings, but not like a real snow yet. Ugh, it makes my heart so happy. Did you guys catch that the door in the intro matches our actual front door? It's all in the details. I just want to be completely upfront. <laughs> There's a lot of look happening right now. This robe by Nordic Label, I absolutely love. Each leg of my pajamas is different. <laughs> I have these gnome slippers. Like there's a lot of Christmas happening. Today, the advent of kindness was, is to leave a note or treat for your neighbor. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, I have a plan for that. But what I didn't get to yesterday is my gratitude jar that I already mentioned this morning. So here is my gratitude jar. And in here, there's actually two boxes of them, but they came with these beautifully embossed cards to write the gratitude in. And then you add it to your jar. So yesterday's gratitude, I definitely felt it, and my gratitude is truly, deeply, with all honesty, my gratitude is for all of you um, and your love and your support and encouragement and appreciation and thumbs up and comments and just the beauty of all of you, um, your participation in the Advent of Kindness, the way you are sharing it, the way you are spreading it across your communities and your families and your friend groups, um, my heart is full and it's my only goal. So the fact that that is happening is everything. So that is my gratitude. I'm gonna write this down in a much more concise way um, and then add it to the jar. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we'll do day two's gratitude at the end of the day. Today's the day for like a lot of meeting meetings that I'm leading. Um, yesterday was a meeting that I was helping support um, that was super long, but like these are all ones that I'm leading. I have everything prepped for all of them, so that's a good thing. But have to get to the neighbor's house early this morning, drop some things off. I'll show you what I'm thinking for that. And then, yeah. While my coffee is finishing, I have the tree. It is getting mailed out this morning um, for Bridget and her kiddos. I'm really excited to be able to do that, and I'm glad we had the same calendar. Look how cute my mug is today. Um, this is from Jen Ross, who I know on her first day of Vlogmas shared me once again. Um, and so many of you have come over from Jen 
And what I would say is Jen is not like a YouTube, um, well, she, clearly she's on YouTube, but like she, that's not who she is to me. Like she's actually like my friend. Like we have each other's phone numbers. We text each other all the very often and we have very long conversations a lot of home decor questions that we talk about but um jen is a friend of mine um and i love her so much and i thought like her act of kindness yesterday was sending more people over here which she does so vice versa if you are not following jen ross pretty neat living i encourage you and i will leave her linked below to go and follow her as well um she's such a kind and gentle spirit as well and um, makes great content, so go check her out because she's wonderful. And I say that as not just a consumer of her content, but also as one of her friends. I love her to death. Love you, Jen. Jen gifted me this mug. My word for 2020, <laughs> which feels so ironic based off of how the, actually not, my word was spot on because it's rise. And how many times have we been knocked down in 2020? It's 5.46. <laughs> I literally have just worked for the last hour. Yes, I'm already an hour into my work day and I did it all in my robe and pajamas. Um, I sent an email, I prepped uh, another meeting that I have tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we're in a good spot, but there's still so much to do. But I thought we would take a second and open advent calendars, at least some of them so we can be on track with them. <laughs> All right, it is day two. Day one was our tree, but we are sending that to Bridget and her family. So today, oh, it's the star for the tree. Bridget, I didn't include this, but you'll have a star. Let me see what I can go figure out real quick. Our tree is going to be one of those trees that I got at Target from the dollar section. And then we're just gonna nestle See if I can get it to. We're just gonna put our star on top. That will be our tree. Beekman 1802, day two is right here. I hate, I never wanna tear one of these. This looks amazing. This is the Arcadia Goat Milk Lip Balm, day two of White Company. The Restore Geranium Neroli Eucalyptus Bath Oil. I'm pumped about that. I love a good bath oil. We might use that today. Also, can we discuss how beautiful this poinsettia looks? Um, we finally got it repotted. It was looking a little droopy. Stephen fed it, um, but it is like taking off, but it looks stunning here. All right, advent calendar's done. My plan for my neighbor, Hillary. She has been so lovely. Her and I went for a walk a couple weeks ago, I told you, and it was so enjoyable. She is just so kind. She bailed me out of my Halloween candy fiasco. So what I'm going to do, and I'm very lucky because my greenhouse that I go to all the time is literally less than a mile down the road. It takes me like two minutes to get there and I have an hour in between meetings and I'm going to run and you just saw my poinsettia in my dining room and I'm gonna pick her up a poinsettia, run it to her house, sit it on her front door, drive home and then text her um, that it's there for her. So that is the plan for my day two of Advent and I'm so excited to do it. Also, you should all know if you're new, it is a Vlogmas tradition that I make a Spotify playlist. So here is this year's. It is Tis the Season for Kindness and Carolyn. And it is our Vlogmas 2020 playlist. It is five hours long. It'll get you through the entire holiday season. 92 songs. Already 442 of you following it but it is a great, great playlist. Some of my favorites that have been released this year and then just some old standard classics, but it's a great playlist. It's linked down below or you can search this title, look for this art, but it's a good playlist. All right, so we are ready for the day. I'm wearing my Let It Snow Kindness and Love shirt. It's one of my shirts in my Threadless shop. I use Threadless because it's super easy. You guys can customize them. Um, and make them what you want. But this was a big request from all of you. So I believe I have four designs. Um, you can choose what you want it to be on. I love when I see you guys wearing them. 
Um, it's just a constant reminder. So that's what's going on. And then I threw on this big oversized cardigan just because it's the first snowy day. It's only 6.30. I'm um, gonna sit down and do a little bit more work for work. And then, yeah get through these first couple meetings this morning, run and do the poinsettia, which will only take me about 15, 20 minutes tops, and then um, have another meeting, and then a lot of work to get done. But it's a good second day start of work. Morning. Your hair's yeah, nice. <laughs> see, it's so much easier to see him in the, in the snow. Get in here. I love this weather. Eh, it's okay for a little bit. I love it. He really does stand out in the snow, though. I know, you <laughs> it's can helpful. See him. Look at him. Do you want cookie? Let's get out of his. <laughs> Your Highness. Hello. Good morning. We're covered in snow. Look, even Steven's festive in his Christmas pajamas. Oh God, these old tanks. All right, where are we? You need day one and day two. So there, it's on both sides. Oh, okay, so day one is over here. All right. Um, oh, it's written on the... Well, those are, yeah. Okay. That's a pretty, that's a level middle, six. It's middle of the road. Oh, uh, okay, two. I wonder, I hope there, they have flavored ones in here. Oh, you just... Sorry. It's an advent calendar. I'll fix it. No, I'm kidding. But like, like, that doesn't bother you at all. To me, that's like heart-wrenching. That it might not be perfect. It's not... It's so funny. I'm so bizarre. Uh, intenso. So this is the, this has, I think, more... Which one are you going with today? The Intenso. I'll save the Melosio for later. Can he have one? He doesn't need one. I was literally telling you guys, like, I don't want to ever tear one of the doors. And <laughs> Steven, he'll rip them off. It just cracks me up. I love him so much. But, like, things like that don't bother him. But to me, like, <laughs> day two, there's already an advent shenanigans. All right. It is 7.12. I'm going to go up and get ready for this meeting. I just need to make sure all the PowerPoints are pulled up and all of that. Um, Steven is going to head off to work after he has breakfast. Um, I have a I have back to back meeting, so I probably won't be able to see him before he leaves. All right, friends, it is exactly 9.06. I just wrapped two meetings already this morning. I've gotten so much work done in that four to six window. I know getting up early is a lot. Um, but for me, it's like a time where like no one else is awake yet. So it allows me to get a really ahead of my work. I'm in a really good place right now um, for today and tomorrow actually. So I'm able to use this nine to 9.30 time to do this act of kindness, which I'm really excited about. Like I said, my greenhouse is only about a mile from my home. So I can probably be back at my house by 9.20. And Hillary literally just lives in the other cul-de-sac. So not very far to travel at all. I've already written the card, so I just have to tie that on, and hopefully it makes her day. Hopefully she's also home because it's super cold, and I don't know how well a poinsettia will do out in the cold, but I'll put it under her front porch, so hopefully it'll be fine. I had two meetings this morning with two separate teams, and I will tell you, I just walk away from both of those meetings so blessed to work with the people I work with. They make me better. They are the best humans I know, um, and I love them to pieces. They are truly, truly the best, and like are so passionate and just amazing. I love them beyond words. And like I told you, the greenhouse is very close because we're already pulling in. I'm just going to, this is perfect. This has like a little hole in it. Hillary makes homemade gift tags, so this store-bought one is not going to be up to her standard. However, it's the best that I can do. I'm just going to drive straight to Hillary's house, drop this off, and then get right back home so I can get right back to work. But it's good to have this off my list and like what an unexpected surprise today for Hillary, which I'm super excited to do for her. All right, friends, it is 
20. That act of kindness took tw actually 18 minutes because I left at 9.06. Bubba's is outside. I have to grab my computer. I already brought it down. And it's time to get back to work. I also need to shoot Hillary a quick text and let her know that there's something on her front porch for her. Did you do business already? All right, let's get a cook. Oh, <laughs> do I had to fall there? A little bit of a slip. All right, let's get a cookie. Slow down. Around three o'clock-ish. Um, the day totally got away with me. Uh, got away with me. Got, um, the day totally got away from me. Um, I didn't even eat lunch. I fell into a lot of work. Um, took some additional calls. Made some additional calls. And, um, yeah. Also, this poor little guy has gone outside like twice today, but he's literally just been sleeping. I haven't thought about dinner. I have the taco stuff that we can do this evening. Oh, sorry, Bobby. I held the cookie too far and he couldn't reach it. So I picked up these new live greens from the greenhouse and I might actually just take a second and set those out. I do have one more email I have to draft before today is over, which I want to wrap by four, so. And then we have to think about dinner, right? He doesn't care. All right. And there you go. That is that arrangement. And it looks so fancy. And it really, really isn't. It took seconds to do. And then every other day, I'll spray it with water. Um, but I'm, I think it's beautiful. And he... Got a pine needle on him too. Just getting his pine needle off you. I'm not really sure or have like a real vision for how I really want this one to turn out necessarily. You can see, in order to do the alternating, I just tuck it in under a set of other branches and get it nestled in, and it covers up the stem on the other side. This one I'm going to kind of put, and then I'm gonna fill in this hole a little bit. I'll do a little bit more hanging off that side. I have a lot of extra pine that I can work with. So I'm just, once again, I'm not kidding. When I tell you like, don't overthink it. Just, just put it in. And then you can always move it around as need be. One more, let's go right here. This is cedar and white pine. And just like, look at the impact of that. It looks stunning. Like I said, every other day, spray it with water. Um, but yeah, they look really pretty. And they smell amazing. All right, are we just gonna do tacos for dinner? Keep it simple? Yeah, you're having a Paul for dinner, apparently. Have you ever had that day where you don't feel like you have anything done, but all you've done is work? Let me know. I deserve a cookie. And also, and it was baked love from my friend Rebecca. Um, so we're gonna open <laughs> date two just because I really, really need it. Look at this cookie. It is a Santa suit. I forget what she said red dot is. Hold on, let me look. Red dot is spiced apple. Honestly, I can't even handle how good this is. Oh my gosh. Whatever you've had as a spiced apple, multiply by 100 because this is unreal. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my cookie. I'm gonna try not to touch my computer again today. I said I was done working, but here I am still working. Also, you guys know how neat and crazy I am, but oddly enough, my work computer is covered with stickers, so. This is one of my favorite quotes. It says, once you learn to read, you will forever be free. Um, that's by Frederick Douglass. I have some otters here. I have find joy in the journey. Be, be a nice human. Um, 
Another one by Oprah that says anything you can imagine you can create. A Ruth Bader Ginsburg one, a vote sticker, a Taylor Swift folklore one. I have Lady Gaga's speech from the Oscars where she said, um, this, uh, this is hard work. It's not about winning. What it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion. So I have like a little sticker collection. I'm running out of precious real estate though. I have room for about one more right here. Maybe one right here. All right, I'm gonna get this last email sent because it is important. Um, I'm trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> I still have to edit this entire vlog, although it's gonna be much shorter than yesterday, so that will be helpful. I'm sorry, you're literally watching me type an email right now. Hey, Shoppy McShopperson. Oh. <laughs> okay, well let's see what, what this is. Do you know what it is? Yeah. My once daily multivitamin. Uh, for geriatric people from Jerry Care. So. Big Land's End order. <laughs> this is from this is from Amazon. You're gonna look like a dad on a field trip. Well, I had to replace my um, I had to replace my long sleeve t-shirts because during the quarantine, the <laughs> you wore the elbows out. And under wait, the, under did the it that show up in a vlog? A ripped long sleeve t-shirt. Comment all... down below because I'm pretty sure a ripped long sleeve t-shirt showed up. Oh, you really... Well, no, okay, so this is... It's a very risky color. I like, I like their long sleeve shirts and Amazon had a sale on them. Oh, and I see this one has already been opened. I accidentally just assumed it was mine. He thinks it's for him. Another Land's End shirt. Look at him, he thinks it's know, for him. I don't know why they... Amazon delivered some and then... Land, I ordered them all at the same time. So we have three Amazon long sleeve t-shirts and... The piece de resistance. Uh, Black socks. socks. What colors did you choose for your shirts? Um, gray. Navy. Navy blue. And this sort of khaki color. Wow. Living on the edge. Well, if I started dressing differently, you wouldn't know what to do. So, yeah. So. And medication. So all of these things are necessary for my life. There's no unnecessary items that everything I order is necessary for our life. How is how are Christmas ornaments necessary for our life? Have you met me? Put some sugar on me. This one's not yours, city goose. This one's not yours. It's not yours. I love you so much. All right, number two. <laughs> you are so... He totally thinks this is his advent calendar. Did you give him this? No. These are snowman gummies. Look at him. It's tea. Oh, well, he smells the sweets. Oh, I love sweets. Oh, it's this one. He thinks they're all his, because he has one. All right, spill the tea. All right, where are we? They oh, did one. make it nice again in the tins. Yes, I know, I didn't like the bags. Um, so we have two, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll do one. What is this? Let it snow. All right. So wait, I don't even know what they did. Let it snow? Yeah, do they tell you anything about them? No. I feel like, look at the back. Is there like a, no, no, no I mean on the back of the advent calendar. Uh, although it's not. Let it snow. One million years later. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's just a list of ingredients. Pineapple, citric, green tea, black currants, apple cinnamon, white sugar, blah, blah, blah. All right. Maybe the other one, maybe the second day is more instructive on the back. It looks like it's rather brown. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like all the clothes you picked. <laughs> They're gray, not brown. <laughs> I love you. Um, organic cinnamon rebose chai. Chai a la Chanel biologique. I like the French better. Me too. Yeah. I love tea. You're not getting any of this chai. Oh. Hey. 
This, this smells like cinnamon. <laughs> Let's open his advent calendar. Come here. Let's open yours because you're so excited. You're an old man, but so excited. Well, you know this one. You know this one. <gasps> Is this yours? All right. We have to look for day two. Can you find day two? Where is it? Up oh, right here. He better not rip it, or else, he's, or else, uh, tall one's gonna get mad. <gasps> oh! Yay! Day two. Oh, we're eating it right on the spot. We're not even carrying it to our. He hasn't even eaten his dinner yet, and he's already had dessert. That's okay. I had my cookie advent calendar, and I haven't eaten dinner yet either. We made the executive decision to do leftovers for dinner because we have a pasta bake, we have beef stroganoff, we have like more than enough food and we don't want to waste it. So that's what we're going to do for dinner tonight. I'm going to take a bath. I'm also going to read um, this book. It's called In an Instant. It's supposed to be amazing. Um, it has great reviews. And I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 2 right here. Um, Bob is just having his usual. Um, so, uh, I hope you guys like enjoyed day two. It was a weird day, I know, but, um, I'll leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.